Anchorite. You're as bothersome as that damn Tremora. No matter. The vote of Rune is placed, and now you die. You brought this on yourself, Dagonist. Damn these waking flame cultists, bringing their Mayrune's Dagon madness to Fargrave. Their votive runes infect mortals with dark magic. I came to meet someone about all this when I spotted that cultist and my hands began to glow. Just like yours. This is Fargrave, a city in oblivion with permanent and open connections to other realms. The cultists place those votive runes faster than I can destroy them, putting every mortal who lives here at risk. That's why I agreed to meet with the Dramora. Lirinth, the Dramora. She sent me a letter. Said the cult threatened Fargrave. Nern, too. She wanted my help, but I can't deal with that now. The votive runes are clearly the immediate danger. We should work together on this. I can pay. I need you to talk to my contacts. Madame Wim's establishment is here in the city. Initiate Tilgo meets me in the burn, out in the Deadlands. See what they know about the votive runes and the cult's plans. Then meet me in the Fargrave Crafting Plaza. Really? All I know is that she's a Dramora who has an interest in the Dagon cult known as the Order of the Waking Flame. This is where we were supposed to meet, but all I saw when I got here was that cultist and the votive rune he was casting. No. The votives mess with mortal emotions, make everything more intense. Not sure why. Lirinth said the magic in her letter would allow her to recognize me. I think that's what the glow was. If only I could get the grasp to care about all this. The grasp of the stricture. They're an order of Daedra, mostly Dramora, who serve as arbiters and interpreters of the stricture. A magical covenant that allows Fargrave to serve as neutral ground for all Daedra. They enforce the laws, to a point. Well, since mortals aren't bound to the stricture, the Grasp pretty much ignores us, unless we interfere with the Stricture in some way. As long as the Cult and its votive runes only threaten mortals, the Grasp simply doesn't care. Madame Wim is a dark seducer who has her thumb on the pulse of Fargrave. Nothing happens here that she isn't keenly aware of. She deals in favors and information, for a price. And the more you seek her help, the more expensive her services become. Initiate Tilgo is a member of the Order of the Waking Flame. He was my friend before the cult recruited him. Turns out, Tilgo's had a change of heart. He's been providing me with inside information about where the cult plans to strike next. Madame Wim runs an establishment in Fargrave called the House of Wims. Just be careful. She enjoys getting her hooks in new arrivals. You'll find Initiate Tilgo in the Deadlands, an area known as the Burn. The plaza of portals will take you there. Hmm. The glow seems to have faded. For now. I'll just leave me alone. Something terrible is about to happen. I just know it. Another poor mortal succumbed to the power of the Dagonic votives. How unfortunate. But what's this? A new face? And what does Madame Wim always say? New faces bring new opportunities. Let's talk. Has anyone ever told you that you have an incomparable mean? 
Most in this celestial palanquin we call Fargrave have the barest patina on their auras. But you? I know multiple buyers who would pay top price for a soul like yours. Shall we trade? What? Poor Josette? She's one of my favorite regulars. At least she was, before the votives affected her. First she became belligerent, then extremely melancholy. Now she's practically mindless. But tell me, darling, what brings you to Madame Wims? She did, did she? All true, but I hate to brag. She's an unusual mortal, though, isn't she? Our darling of the alleys. And clever. She sent you so as not to increase her tab at the House of Whims. As a new customer, your first transaction is free. Ah, two topics on the lips of many a Fargravian. The Dagonists are mortal rabble with a fetish for destruction. The votive runes are prayers to their prince made manifest. Spells that seem to affect only mortals, like poor Josette here. An interesting question. Alas, I have no answer. But you're not the only newcomer to our fair city seeking such knowledge. My eyes about town tell me that Lyrinth the Dramora has come to Fargrave. She's in the shambles, searching for Sister Seldina. You want more? I'm giving away an awful lot as part of your free sample, but I am feeling generous today. Sister Seldina leads the Dagonists here in Fargrave. She and Lyrinth seem to have it out for one another, though I have yet to ascertain why. As the name implies, I trade in eccentricities and capriciousness. I buy and sell as impulse dictates. My establishment carries indulgences from across oblivion. And information, of course, along with food, drinks, and an amenity for every appetite. Hmm? Oh, the mortal on the floor? No, I don't believe so. The spell is quite potent. I suspect the votive runes have a darker purpose than simply elevating emotions and turning mortals into mindless husks. Pity the grasp refuses to investigate. The grasp of the stricture. They enforce law and order in Fargrave. The stricture is a covenant that binds all Daedra and allows us to operate somewhat in concert. Since mortals aren't bound by the covenant, the grasp tends to pay them no mind. An apt description, if somewhat inaccurate. They do enforce Fargrave's laws, but in ways that won't always be comprehensible to the limits of mortal understanding. Try not to commit any crimes in front of them, and they won't harass you. Probably. You came here without knowing, darling. How refreshing. Like an otherworldly conveyance, Fargrave personifies the existential concepts of transit or passage, it did start out as a strange nomadic realm, after all. That's part of the city's allure. It means if you want to travel the myriad corridors of Oblivion, there's no better launching point than fabulous Fargrave. In addition to our famous Plaza of Portals, the entire realm is littered with dimensional access ways. Plus, we have no prince. Without a prince to set the laws and manipulate Fargrave's reality, we're free to shape this city as we choose. The freedom that affords us is sublime. Plus, no prince means less chaos and violence in the streets, rogue cultists notwithstanding. Aren't they beautiful? One of our best features. No one is quite sure who or what they were, but legend has it they once carried the city from plane to plane. Hence the allusion to a palanquin. Is it true? Well, the skeletons are real enough. A personal query? That will cost extra, my darling. I am a Mazkin, what your kind commonly call a dark seducer. Unlike many of my brothers and sisters, I use my charms to beguile and entice for knowledge and profit. I have no interest in violence. A terrible place. I urge caution if you decide to venture there. It's a warren of alleys, tenements, and ruins, hidden behind thick walls. Many mortals live there in the most appalling conditions, but it can also be a good place to conduct business. Oh, innocent mortal. 
The kind of business best engaged in, where the grasp of the stricture doesn't reach. It's a perfect location to hide a Dagonist cult, seeking to cause chaos and mayhem. I'm surprised our Darling of the Alleys didn't mention that. Darling of the Alleys, Fool of Fargrave, Woman in the Mask. Ever since the Anchorite arrived in Fargrave, she's gone out of her way to help the mortals cast upon our shore, and she asks for nothing in return. Pity I know so little else about her. <sighs> now, what should we... from me. Stay away! person I was supposed to meet. What do you want? Explain yourself, stranger. The Deadlands isn't a place for chance encounters. The Anchorite promises to get me away from the cult in exchange for information. I hold up my end of the bargain and what do I get? Another fool seeking knowledge from Portilgo. This is the last time you hear. Make sure the Anchorite knows that. They don't tell lowly initiates all the details of their master plan. But I hear things. Sister Seldina wants to take over Fargrave. Make it an offering to Merun Stegon. The votive runes play a part in that, but I don't know exactly how. Sister Seldina leads the Fargrave cell. She has a grand vision for the Waking Flame. It starts with Fargrave, but it doesn't end there. She wants control of the portals. With them, she can hand Lord Dagon all of oblivion. Even Nern would be in reach. The Dramora? She's practically all the Order's old guard talk about these days. Seems she's been causing a lot of trouble for Sister Seldina, interfering with her plans. Something's about to happen. Tell the Anchorite. Fargrave's in danger. The Order has camps throughout Fargrave and the Deadlands. Sister Seldina could be anywhere. But tell the Anchorite to check the shambles. 
Look for an abandoned building, someplace hot. I heard one of the Devastators complaining about the heat. If we were talking about the Deadlands, no. But the Shambles is a different story. That section of Fargrave can't have too many places hot enough to make a Devastator uncomfortable. The Anchorite will figure it out. What? You assume every Dagonist is a true believer willing to do whatever their superiors tell them? I joined up because they promised me a better life. A way to escape the Shambles. But they lied. The Anchorite agreed to help me, for a price. If Sister Seldina knew I was talking to you or the Anchorite, my life wouldn't be worth a scab on an Ogrim's elbow. I want out! Look, tell the Anchorite. She can find me at the Bearer's Rest in Fargrave when she's really ready to help an old friend. Tell the Anchorite I'll be at the Bearer's Rest. She owes me, and I expect her to honor our agreement. All of you, stay away from me! Stay away! Disaster is coming! Fargrave is doomed! Over here, friend. Lord Dagon will visit disaster upon this ash sheep. Mark my word. These new Dagonists are barely worth the effort. I followed them into the plaza and destroyed the votive rune before they even noticed I was there. And the Grasp decided to get involved, finally. Hey, did you learn anything from my contacts? Madam Wim didn't charge you, I hope. She usually lets you sample her wares for free the first time. After that, it gets... Expensive. The Shambles is a big place, but now we know more than we did when we started. Did you also make contact with Tilgo? Pot? In the Shambles? Must be the old baths. The furnaces beneath the bathhouse have been burning forever. But what was that about the votive runes? How does Sister Seldina plan to use them to conquer Fargrave? Damn it! 
No one is going to conquer Fargrave if I have any say in the matter. I suppose we need to investigate the old bathhouse. If we find Sister Seldina, maybe we'll find Lirinth too. Let's meet in the shambles. We can discuss our options there. Once we enter the shambles, we can work our way together to the old bathhouse. The shambles can be a dangerous place, but it's also where the majority of Fargrave's mortals live. Warrens and dark alleys fill the area. There are three main paths through the shambles. We can take any of them to reach the bathhouse. Just that it's mostly abandoned, hasn't been used by anyone but squatters and vagrants for years. It's isolated at the northern end of the shambles, easy to secure and unbearably hot. The perfect location for the Dagonist leaders to plot and scheme. And I said I'd tell you, once I was sure I could trust you. Let's find out what's waiting for us at the bathhouse. Try to make contact with Lirinth for Dremora. After that, we'll see. Move, mortals, flee! You will see. Lord Dagon will devour you and your city. Be silent! You're...
That's the bathhouse up ahead. Let's see if the door is locked. That door should take us into the bathhouse, yeah. if we can open it. Locked, and with magic. Damn. If the main door is sealed, let's see if we can get in through the courtyard. That door leads to the courtyard and isn't warded. Can you pick the lock? the case below and get into the bomb house from there. We should be able to find a way inside through the Undercroft. It runs beneath the bathhouse. <sighs> Another ward. I think we can get past this one, though. I have an idea. Unlike the door outside, this area contains everything we need to disrupt the magic sustaining the ward and dispel it. I've seen the Daedra use these crystals to do all sorts of things. I spotted a lucent among the debris in this hall. It's a Daedric crystal that can absorb and store the background energy that pulses through all the realms of Oblivion. We'll need that to get started. Then take the Lucent to the Dynamis font over there. That background energy I mentioned? The font absorbs it. Place the Lucent on the font and it will fill it with the charged energy. Finally, Insert the charged Lucent into the discharge labyrinth beside the door. That will release the energy from the crystal and disrupt the ward. That's the idea, anyway. I've seen the Daedra do all sorts of things using Lucent's fonts and labyrinths. Remember, find a Lucent, charge it in the Dynamis font, then place the charged crystal in the labyrinth beside the door. Once you understand how Lucent's function, you can use them to accomplish all sorts of things throughout the realms of Oblivion. That's definitely a Lucent. They're as common as click. Now take the Lucent to the Dynamis font. Place the Lucent in the Dynamis font and it should fill it with energy. That did it. Look how the crystal crackles with it. Insert the charged crystal into the labrum. It worked! And now you know how to use a charged Lucent. Let's see what's behind that door. Come and take us! I see my spell brought the help I requested, but I didn't expect there to be more than one of you. Ah, my simple spell finally yields results. I was hoping it would bring you to me again, little mortal. I do so appreciate working with known quantities. But who is this other immortal who also carries my glowing brand upon their flesh? The Anchorite. An unusual appellation, even for a mortal. You must be wondering why I summoned you and then failed to be on hand to greet you. When I heard that Sister Seldina had arrived at their headquarters in the shambles, I had to act quickly. You can plainly see that I did not. Finding this location took more time than I expected. And even then, getting inside has proven difficult. 
But now that we're together, I suspect we can make short work of any obstacles and locate Sister Saldina. My reasons are my own, little mortal. Suffice it to say, I want to determine how Sister Saldina plans to utilize the votive runes to seize control of Fargrave. She wants to use its many portals as a gateway between the Deadlands and Nern. Even a Dromor of my talents cannot hope to stand alone against the Dagonists and an army of living disasters. I seek to learn Sister Saldina's secrets. You want to protect the mortal realm from total destruction. Together, we can accomplish both. She's smart and ruthless. A powerful combination in Immortal. She commands the Dagonists here in Fargrave and oversaw the creation of the Cataclyst. With that device, she plans to create an army of living disasters to unleash upon Nern. Daedra empowered to unleash destruction upon the mortal realm and make it easier for Mehrun's Dagon to conquer Nern. Did you know he's tried before? Dagon broke an agreement, and the doors between the Deadlands and Nern were sealed. He can't use them. Sotha Seal, one of the so-called living gods of the Dark Elves, supposedly made a pact with various Daedric princes to protect Nern. I don't know the details, but Dagon broke the pact. Sotha Seal slammed the doors and closed off Dagon's connections. Everything about Sotha Seal's pact is rumor and speculation, so that is what I hope to determine, and I want to examine the Cataclyst. The attack on Fargrave could begin at any moment. Shall we enter the next area and see what Saldina is up to? No. It vanished again. The spell has run its course. The glow will not return. Now, to deal with this ward. Come. I sense activity in the chamber beyond. The Dramora again. Well, you're too late. The ritual is almost complete. Dagon's blessing reverberates among the voted rooms. Soon a wave of destruction will sweep over Fargrave and destroy the Daedra. The spell. What's happening to us? Mortal, destroy the votive runes. must destroy the Daedra! My plan depends upon it! to despair. Let's talk in the next room. Take a moment to look around. Sister Saldina departed in haste. Certainly she left something behind. I did not think Sister Saldina capable of performing such a powerful ritual. You did well, mortal. A few more moments and the magic would have exploded across Fargrave, leaving the city defenseless and destroying all of the Daedra, including me. Yes, but she fled in haste. That means she probably left something behind. Let's search this bathhouse. Bring me whatever you find. Sister Saldina's abandoned paraphernalia may be of use to me, and it may tell you more about the threat to Nern. From what I could devise, the votives elevated the emotions of mortals in the city, siphoning the energy generated into Sister Seldina's ritual. She planned to use that energy to destroy the Daedra, including the Grasp, leaving the city defenseless. That would accomplish nothing. The Dagonists are experts when it comes to disappearing into the shadows. Sister Seldina will pay for her various insults soon enough. For now, see what she left behind when she fled.
What did you find, little mortal? Tell me what you found, and I shall determine if it has any significance to my quest, or to yours. Hmm. Nor can I. And while your literacy may be in question, mine certainly is not. This is no language, mortal or Daedric. It is written in code, one used by the Dagonists for their more guarded correspondence. No, and neither could any lowly recruit we captured off the streets and tortured for information. This code is reserved for the Order's elite. We'll need to find someone who can decipher it. I'm sure Fargrave must have someone with those skills. We should leave. The cult's forces may have scattered, but no doubt Sister Saldina will send a force to try to deal with us. We should not be here when they arrive. Perhaps the Anchorite can suggest a place for us to meet up, safe from prying eyes. What I seek still eludes my grasp, so our business is not yet concluded. You ought to be grateful. I can be a powerful ally, when the mood strikes me. I will meet you back in Fargrave. I'm sure the Anchorite knows someone who can decipher the code. Let's meet at the inn in Fargrave. Bearers rest. We can talk privately there. Vivian, take you! That was easy. 